Well, welcome back. Medications are often used to treat psychiatric disorders and serious pain, which can later lead to other serious problems, including addiction. But now new cutting edge procedures are helping patients cope better and alleviate serious pain without the pills. Dr. Robert Buchanan here with us this morning with the Seton Brain and Spine Institute to explain how all of this works. Good morning to you. You just got out of surgery about an hour ago. I did. I did. But I heard you were up for a long time. Yes. Preparing as yes. Well. I'm so. not, not doing as hard of work as you, yeah. <laughs> but let's talk about this. It's, um, brain stimulation is kind of where it all starts, so tell me how that works. Yeah, well, there's a long history of trying to find ways of uh, stimulating the brain as opposed to destroying parts of the brain. Historically, uh, neurosurgeons would destroy parts of the brain that had something to do with chronic pain, what we call neuropathic pain. The good news is in 2013, we're able to provide stimulation by putting small electrodes into the brain or onto the spinal cord to uh, alleviate pain instead of having to do destructive, irreversible procedures. Mm -hmm. It's uh, akin now to what we do for things like Parkinson's disease and essential tremor. Uh, we're able to then put in a fully implanted system into the brain or the spinal cord that comes with its own battery pack kind of like a pacemaker for the brain or for the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. And it's a one-time fix, so to speak. Right. We, we put the, uh, the stimulating electrode, whether it's in the brain or on the spinal cord. The battery, as you would imagine, like any other battery, needs to be changed, like your flashlight battery almost. But they do last now for up to 10 years because they're rechargeable type now. Mm -hmm. What type of pain or what kind of issues might someone be going through where they would think about something as major as this? Yeah, well, a lot of people you mentioned, uh, many of these drugs can help people, uh, but they're very addicting. Uh, you just can't help it. Psychologically addicting, physically addicting. Mm -hmm. Uh, those kind of patients can then decide to move towards something like brain or spinal stimulation to, to try to get off the drugs completely. Then there are patients where the drugs don't work. And uh, I mentioned the term neuropathic pain, which can be pain from stroke, can be pain from spinal cord injury. There's a huge collection of nerves that come out of the spinal cord that go to your arms and legs, which are called the plexuses, plexi. If you get those things damaged, oftentimes it might even be better to go to spinal cord stimulation or brain stimulation first. Got it. I know we wanted to talk about psychiatric disorders. We've got about 15 seconds left. So what can you tell me in that short amount of time? Well, I'm a psychiatrist too. I'm a neurosurgeon and a psychiatrist. So I'm, I'm very encouraged that we're now doing deep brain stimulation for obsessive compulsive disorder, for depression and hopefully other diseases in the future. Wow, thank you so much for being here this morning, Dr. Buchanan. We'll have more of this information on our website as well. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. All right, you can get back to work now. All right, we are gonna kick it over now to David 